I just went uh, to a store yesterday, a thrift store, and I found these two great vases. Only $2, and I got two of them. So I am going to go and start a primer white on it so that the paint will bond to the glass. And then I'm going to try to make it look like pottery. So let's see how that goes today. Hi, we're going to finish up our vases that we started. So remember, we sprayed it with three different colors, and now I want to stipple it with um, these stipple brushes. I used to get them at Michael's, but I found them at one of the Dollar Trees. Don't know if they all have them, but I did find some of these, and I'll show you how these work. Okay, so I poured out a few colors. Um, I did a, a fawn and sand and khaki and some graphite and I'm gonna just kind of stipple so you what you how you stipple is you go in lightly and then you just kind of pounce it off and when it's kind of a dry brush then you just kind of just dress it in different places all around And then you can take um, a rag or you can take a paper towel and then you can, you can just rub it, kind of buff it out a little so it's not like in clumps. Probably need a little water on this. Get some water. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go like this. It dried really quick but if you don't like it if it's too light or too dark you just go over it with a darker color or another color until you like it till it looks like it's I don't know like a, a real old terracotta pot okay so now I'm gonna put in the brown maybe over that white because it was that desert sand was a little too light And you just do this with all different colors until you are happy with how it looks. And then when you're done, you just put a matte glaze over it to finish it so it will keep the colors on there. See, I just did a few couple colors and, and let's see, I'll try this one. This is the, the fawn. Look, a little deer. You just want it to look old, and you can't even tell it was a glass jar, can you? It's starting to look like pottery. But I'll probably brush it out with um, something so that it's not so clumpy. And I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm just, I put some water in my foam brush, and I put in the charcoal to see if I can just kind of blend it more since it dried really quickly. And it's basically just watered down because I wasn't happy about it. it looked like, like a leopard. But how fun is that to make pottery 
out of a glass jar, a vase. And I love that it has, see how it had the rings on it? So cool. And you can put anything in this. You can put some eucalyptus leaves. You can put the olive leaves. You can put um, flowers or just have it as a vase all by itself. See, it takes no talent really just to put color in there. Now I'm just adding some more of that brown, which I like that color actually. So that one is, it's just a brown. So made by Americana, whoops, wrong color. See, I'm just drying it out because I got a little too much on there. Try to have it go different ways, not all in one, one order. And that is that. I love it. And I think it's going to look great instead of just glass. It looks something old, doesn't it? So that is our project today. It's about pottery um, the next couple of times. And pottery is very expensive, so it's great if you can just make your own.